Hey everyone, Duke Nuggets 3D here with another video for you guys, and again, sort of a short one because this one isn't going to be a full review, as it is going to be sort of a, like a little mini tutorial like I did with the VREU video, which you should also check out. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be discussing how to install the voice projection unit assembly on your Avon Protection M FM53 or FM54 series protective mask. Uh, not really any history to cover, there isn't really much to talk about. Um, I will mention though that there is two different models of VPU out on the market there is the gen 1 which is what I have here and then there's also a gen 2 which is what's currently being distributed by Avon uh, the way to tell the difference between the gen 1 and the gen 2 is mainly in the battery cover assembly which the gen ones will have a much higher profile battery cover as you can see here if I can get the camera to focus on that uh, you could probably make it out anyways but um, uh, just give you a better look at it I'm trying to at least but you get the gist of it. Um, it has a much thicker plastic battery cover, which has some knurling along the side of it, whereas the Gen 2 will have a much lower profile battery cover with a sort of elongated slot for screwing it in. Otherwise, externally, they look no different. And then the microphone and amplifier assemblies will be different on the Gen 2 as well. As you can see, the Gen 1 sort of have like this, uh, what looks like a microphone on the amplifier, which it may be, I'm not entirely sure, but the Gen 2s are just going to be a solid block that are uh, very lower profile, uh, not really much to see about them. Uh, but anyways, as mentioned before, it says a Gen 1, and it should be mentioned that the Gen 2 and Gen 1 microphones are non-compatible between each other, and I've heard that if you try and use a Gen 1 microphone on a Gen, 1, a Gen 2 uh, VPU or vice versa, it, if you try and power it on, it will simply make a beep, and it will not try and it will not transmit voice at all. Um, to, insert, in, to get started with the VPU, obviously you're going to need to install a battery. These use the Duracell or Energizer CR123A batteries. Um, again, give you a closer look at those. This is the example that I have. Again, my camera is being really fucky today and it is not wanting to focus on shit, but there you go. This is the typical battery that you will want to install in these. These will not accept double A's or triple A's or any other sort of battery. These are only for the 3 volt CR123A batteries and you will get install the battery by first unscrewing the battery cover with a penny or a similarly sized coin. Uh, you don't want to use a screwdriver probably because that'll scratch it up. Uh, and obviously that will just you have a plastic tab retaining that that will just lift out of the way. And as you can see here, there's open access to the battery port, which you will insert the, I believe this is the, yes, the positive side in first and the negative side facing out. And then you will simply replace the battery cover. And where's my coin over here? It's over here. So, and then you will simply just rotate it into place. Maybe a little bit finicky at first, but it will simply get into place. And I don't believe you can over tighten these. You can see it just snapped there. So if you tighten it too much, uh, I could be wrong. I could have just had it threaded and on wrong. I haven't really screwed these on too much. Again, it's a little bit difficult to do it over here. So I will come around and try and screw it in. Again, it's a little bit finicky to try and screw them in. So screwing it in that way. And just don't make sure it's too tight, but make sure it's tight enough like you see there. So now I've got it on properly. And next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, essentially install it on the mask. You want to have the VREU slightly off center. Unfortunately, that's they, they don't go all the way up when you don't have the VPU on. Uh, when you have the VPU on, it can only be positioned at this sort of uh, oblique, sort of uh, slanted position. So to install it, um, you're going to want, want to align these three tabs here on the inner ring of the uh, valve cassette assembly, or VCA. So you'll just simply just press it in this way, as you can see, the, it's aligned with the tracks. If the camera will focus and allow me to show you, that would be great. Come on. Again, this video is not going to be very fast-paced. There's not really much to talk about. And then once you have it in line with the track, just simply rotate it until this upper tab here clicks into place like that. And then what you will want to do is you will take the plug assembly and sort of, uh, you know, obviously just plug it in there. Make sure that the long uh, grounding port, I believe that's what it is, I could be wrong, that long port right there is in line with this port right here. Um, again, tripping over my words. And just press it into place. Not really much to talk about with that. And you may want to just depress the cable in between the drinking lever and the drinking port uh, holder with your thumb or your fingernail. And that's basically all there is to see on the outside. And now that that is installed, we will move on to the interior to install the inner microphone. So I'll demonstrate that now. With the hood assembly flipped around, we can now begin to install the integral microphone assembly on the inside of your FM53 or FM54 mask. First, you will want to do is peel back the chin cup and locate 
the communications port at the very bottom center of the nose cup. And it is a very, it's a little bit awkward to install because it is at a very odd angle here. You will notice that there is sort of a cutout in the lower region of the nose cup right there so that it can accommodate the rounded edge of the microphone. And you will essentially want to position it in like this so that the edge of that microphone aligns with that cutout there on the right. Just over the drinking port assembly, or the uh, basically the little area where the drinking adapter rests. If I can get a good view in, uh, I probably can't because it's dark, but you will get a good enough look. Uh, you will basically position the uh, microphone over that port there and sort of depress it down into place. Again, it's a little bit precarious, but I will get it in eventually. And you will fiddle with it for a while, but eventually it will just press right into place and you'll probably be turning it far too uh, off to the side like I kind of was doing there, but this is as far as it needs to go and once it's in that spot, you can just to press it down in and it'll just click into place. That's all you need to do. It seems like it can be pressed in more, but it's a bit further up to accommodate that little stump where the uh, drinking adapter sits in, and that's all you need to do with it. So now I can basically demonstrate how you would switch on and off the voice projection unit. Now that the hood is back at its proper orientation, I can more easily demonstrate how the VPU assembly is switched on and off. At the current position where the switch is flipped to the upper position, it is now off. But when you rotate the switch to the bottom most position, you hear a soft click and maybe a bit of faint static, and that indicates that the VPU is on. Uh, I should note that my amplifier or microphone assembly, I believe on mine, is a bit toast. Uh, I need to actually replace the microphone assembly because I can actually turn the VPU on, but unfortunately no audio is being picked up by the uh, microphone itself, so I'm going to attempt to swap out the VPU. I do have a spare coming in along the way, so I will probably keep you all posted on how that turns out, but in the meantime, this is just as good as demonstration uh, until I get a replacement VPU and microphone assembly. Um, and the other benefit about the VPU assembly is the plug on the bottom area here, as you can see, has a port for an external cable to your PTT or headset or whatever communications equipment you are using. Um, it is entirely pass-through, meaning that the VPU does not interfere with your comms, and you can simply just plug it in and use it as you need it. So, that being said, that's really all I have to say about the installation and the uh, function of the M the M53 and M54 series VPU assembly. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, corrections, or concerns, drop them down in the comments below. I'm Duke Nuka3D, and I will see you all later.